Hello everyone, my name is Vijit and I am currently working as a software engineer at Qualcomm. So, this was my last sentence, tha. I am currently working as a software engineer at Qualcomm. ये इतना सिंपल नहीं था जितना सिंपल मैंने इसको बोल दिया आई हैव डन माय इंजीनियरिंग इन ईसी नॉन टेक बैकग्राउंड एंड नाउ आई एम वर्किंग एज सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर एट कॉलकॉम एंड ये जो पाथ था फ्रॉम बीइंग अ ईसी स्टूडेंट टू गेटिंग अ जॉब एट कॉलकॉम इट वाज लाइक फुल ऑफ अ रोलर कोस्टर राइड एंड आई हैड मल्टीपल अप्स एंड डाउन्स I also made some mistakes, corrected some flaws in myself, and then the results were as expected. So I want to share whatever I did in my past, getting offers from multiple big companies like Amazon, D Shop, and Qualcomm. So I'll be sharing with you everything what I did and what I what I did as a mistakes and what I want that every beginner should avoid. So in this video, I I am gonna tell you my entire journey and the factors which a particular candidate should keep in mind, which may help them to land to a good, decent paying job. And also, like I will also share some key points that can be like taken in their uh, uh, consideration, which can help. Uh, for applying and preparing for a job so let's start with the, how did i get offer from all these companies so jab initially maine engineering main engineering kar raha tha to i always wanted to work in companies like qualcomm and nvidia like basically companies which work on uh, which pro provide offers on low level programming side uh, some programming related to uh, system close to the system but uh, us mein i didn't had uh, uh, so much of opportunities uh, like that and i chose uh, to work as uh, in the software engineering domain uh, with a startup and i worked there over a few years and after gaining enough uh, industry experience uh, i thought that chalo ye sahi samay hai ya ab main switch kar sakta hu like i can think of switching because i know how it works how things works and i have worked on multiple projects which impact the industry so i can try and i can apply for some offers so i applied for few of the openings in few of the big companies and i was lucky enough to get a chance to get interviewed at uh, tech giants like uh, amazon disho and qualcomm offers from these companies and uh, uh, so after thinking a lot uh, i decided to go with qualcomm because This is what I wanted. So basically आप ये समझ सकते हो कि मैनिफेस्टेशन जो था मेरा पहले से वो ट्रू हो गया वो लाइक इट वॉज इट वॉज इन रियल फॉर दिस लाइक द इंटायर प्रोसेस वॉज वेरी मच सिमिलर वॉट एवरी कैंडिडेट डज बट आई वुड लाइक शेयर यू वॉट माई माइंड सेट was during applying these uh, applying for these offers and preparing for these offers and interview so the most important aspect throughout the process uh, is the mindset which you have like whatever you fill up in your mind jo yahan rahega wahi aap reflect karoge so i think i faced multiple failures uh, in the start it's it's not like ki aap pehla pehla job role apply karoge aur aapko job mil jayegi दिस आई थिंक बहुत रेयरली ऐसा कुछ होगा और मोस्टली आपको फेलियर्स और रिजेक्शन मिलेंगे ही सो यू शुड बी क्लियर इन योर हेड दैट योर बेसिक्स आर क्लियर यू हैव अ पॉजिटिव माइंड सेट एंड यू वॉन्ट टू वर्क राइट सो गिविंग अप इज नॉट लाइक एनी ऑप्शन एंड इफ यू कंटिन्यूसली कीप ट्राइंग कीप ट्राइंग एंड यू हैव योर बेसिक्स क्लियर इन योर हेड देन आई थिंक एट सम पॉइंट यूल गेट पॉजिटिव रिजल्ट right so this is the this is the mindset which i think everyone should have uh, so that they can succeed i won't say uh, sec they have success very fast but yeah guaranteed success is there i think so and also one of the most important aspects of uh, getting a software engineering job uh, in a particular good firm or a good company which pays you a good amount of money and also your future is secured i think the most important factor would be dsa like i'm just focusing on the software engineering part so be it any software development part or software engineering part both consider dsa as a very important aspect so the basic coding basic dsa is a must thing which you which you are asked in your interviews so मैंने बहुत सारे इंटरव्यूज देखे हैं मैंने बहुत सारे इंटरव्यूज दिए हैं तो आई थिंक उस उन सारे इंटरव्यूज में मोस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर इज डी एस ए एटलीस्ट वन क्वेश्चन यू विल हैव इन फॉर योर डी एस ए और फॉर योर कोडिंग एंड ऑल्सो लाइक इफ यू आर अ बिगनर देन आपको वो फॉर श्योर एक कोडिंग राउंड होगा जो आपको टेस्ट देना पड़ेगा तो उसमें तो कोडिंग इंपॉर्टेंट ही है एंड एज वेल एज लाइक द इंटरव्यूज विच यू गो थ्रू 
that is also very important and uh, the dsa which they ask is the basic building block of any swe or sd interviews so you need to clear your basics of dsa and basic coding be it in any language i think language is not a barrier uh, but just the problem solving skills should be there and uh, like uh, every every beginner or every every student has one particular question when they start dsa like how to be quick and how to be efficient in coding or dsa so you can't can't be quick initially but you can be efficient and efficiency comes with consistency so if your basics are clear if your basic concepts are clear and you practice it consistently like the problem solving skills you practice it consistently then the dsa learning curve will moves up up first only if you be consistent then that's the path to be uh, of being efficient and you'll also have to like uh, uh, figure out what sort of coding you want to do at the start if you're a uh, beginner then you for sure you'll have to focus on dsa but then as you move ahead you can like uh, figure out if you want to be a competitive programmer or you want to be a developer or something like that and then based on that you can bifurcate your skills and everything and सो ये जो पूरी जर्नी है इसमें एक कॉमन मिस्टेक विच आई थिंक आई ऑल्सो डिड एंड आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल डू वेन दे आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर समथिंग लाइक दैट एंड इफ दे आर नॉट फ्रॉम ए टेक बैकग्राउंड सो ये एक कॉमन मिस्टेक विच आई थिंक एवरी वन डज एंड आई ऑल्सो डिड एट सम पॉइंट इन टाइम वुड बी लाइक वी कान बी परफेक्ट इन ऑल दी एस्पेक्ट्स but uh, one of the most uh, most basic mistake which uh, almost every beginner commits and must avoid it would be relying on multiple res- resources for a particular concept so let's say aap dsa ka koi ek particular concept pad rahe ho aur usme uh, youtube pe we have like uh, tons of uh, resources available for that particular thing so as a beginner we don't have any idea like which one to follow and which one to not so we jump from one to other so like so like ek video dekh liya uske baad dusre pe chale gaye uske teesre pe chale gaye aise so i think this is not this is not uh, like helpful for anyone it's like if you are starting with any uh, concept then you should be picking up one proven uh, uh, resource which is like very much uh, proven which helps everyone you should go with that very basic one and then once you clear uh, everything in that particular concept then you can move on to uh, other resources based on your likes and dislikes like if you are want to master it or not that particular concept and i don't think that mastering is the key it's like you have to learn and understand most of the concepts it's not like ek concept pakad लिया हमने और उसको हम जब तब तक करते रहेंगे जब तक हम उसमें मास्टर नहीं हो जाते नहीं ऐसा नहीं है आपको जॉब अगर लेनी है तो स्टार्टिंग जॉब आप एक बार जॉब में घुस गए उसके बाद की बात अलग है लेकिन जॉब लेने के लिए जो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज कि आप एक सारे कॉन्सेप्ट को समझो सारे कॉन्सेप्ट को पढ़ो दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट सो लाइक दीज आर द फ्यू थिंग्स विच वन कैन keep in mind while uh, preparing for things and like i have mentioned uh, earlier uh, how i got offer from qualcomm d show and amazon a basic question which everyone would have in mind is like what factors they need to uh, they need to keep in mind to get a good job like how to get a good job this is the question that everyone has so i think uh, you can't control everything like uh, you can't control any factor on the hiring side right you can control the controllables which are in your hands so i think if you make it nearly perfect ki aapke haath mein jo hai wo ekdam perfect ho jaye so i won't say that uh, ki selection ho hi jayega but the chances of your selection would increase rapidly so if for example if i have to say what can you control on uh, your end so first and foremost is your resume or your cv so you have to make a crisp impactful cv because wo resume is the key step uh, first step which gets you forward in any particular job profile so if your resume is not shortlisted then you will not move forward right so how to make a crisp and impactful resume would be uh, like you mention your skills projects and experiences to the point so that if the hiring team is reading your resume then they get to know oh he is perfect for this role or not immediately like seeing your bullet points of your skills and projects which you have done then they should get an idea that uh, 
he or she is perfect fit for that particular role or not and the next most important part would be the concepts which are being uh, mostly asked for uh, software engineering roles so there are few concepts which are for sure 100% asked in any particular software engineering interview the so number one is dsa as i mentioned above dsa beat any coding language any programming language but dsa is very important all the concepts of dsa is very important and then comes the basic coding which comes with dsa only then we have the all the uh, cs related fundamentals like your operating system fundamentals your oops fundamentals then some bit of networking fundamentals also so all these concepts are very important and one should be very clear with the basics of all these things so that cause i think uh, maybe or may not be uh, agar aap as, as a beginner apply kar rahe ho kisi ek particular role ke liye so they won't ask you questions Uh, job specific like uh, the role specific but they would ask you questions on a very general level that is all these cs fundamental concepts because they, uh, they will like they want to see if you are trainable or not right so if you have all these basics clear then you can learn anything when you go in the industry or, uh, or like that and the third most important thing would be your projects so i think the projects which you make must be impactful and like uh, the perspective should be ki ind- industry driven hona chahiye wo ki iska kuch use case hona chahiye normal life mein right aur uh, most important thing is ki aapko aapka project ekdam acche se pata hona chahiye i uh, like most of us when we start when we make our resume at the start so hamare paas utne projects nahi hote hain to mention in the resume so hum koi bhi open source project utha lete hain aur usko dal dete hain That is okay. That is fine. But uh, uh, I think अगर आप कोई open source project उठा भी रहे हो तो उसको आप खुद एक बार run करो खुद एक बार develop करो भले ही आप उससे help लेके करो लेकिन आप उसको develop करो और उसको पूरी अच्छी तरीके से समझो ताकि अगर interviewer is going to ask you he he or she will for sure ask you if you are a beginner then that not might be the case but if you have some experience or uh, or, or something like that then they will for sure ask you about your projects and they'll go in depth for of that they'll ask you follow up questions for that and they might also ask you if that project uh, is with you and you can run that project or not so even if it is a open source project you should know all the details of it and you should be aware how it is working what is what is it in the background uh, and what it is it exactly so these are the things i think you can like keep in mind which may help you in getting a very good decent job and most importantly it's about the mindset which i mentioned you uh, mentioned above in my uh, sayings like if you have a good mindset if you have consistent uh, approach in like uh, reading anything or learning anything then i think uh, everything uh, becomes a bit simple i think uh, being efficient and being consistent is the key and most importantly uh, if i can do it then you can also do it because i was also from an a non tech background and uh, like initially maine apne 3 saal engineering ke bina kisi coding ke nikal diye last kuch years mein maine coding shuru ki and uh, believe me ek bar maine shuru kiya to mujhe bahut wo pasand aane laga like i got interested intrigued by that and uh, i started that and now i am a software engineer if you need any help then you can get my linkedin or my profile in the uh, comment box and i wish everyone best of luck and you can reach reach out to me any time for any help and i'll also give you the link of my resume and uh, i hope uh, this video helps everyone and uh, yeah so bye and see you thank you